Kimberly Ann Gelfoyle is an American attorney and TV news personality who co-hosted The Five on Fox News. She was born in San Francisco, March 9, 1969. Her mother was a Puerto Rican while her father was Irish. She graduated from the University of California. While she was studying law, she worked as an intern in the district attorney's office in San Francisco. She began to model for local department stores, including Macy's. Kimberly also modeled for Victoria's Secret lingerie for a bridal magazine. Post her law school, she was hired as a prosecutor in San Francisco, but then turned out to be one of 14 prosecutors in the city to lose her jobs in 1996 when Terrence Hallinan became the district attorney. There, afterwards, she got a job as deputy district attorney in Los Angeles, where she worked for four years on cases that were of juvenile nature, domestic violence, sexual assault, kidnapping, robbery, and homicide. She proved to be an exponent in legal cases and won many awards, including the Prosecutor of the Month Award from the district attorney's office. Gilfoyle was hired again by Hallinan in the San Francisco District's office, where she worked as an assistant director district attorney for four years from 2000 to 2004. One of the most noteworthy cases was the one where she earned a conviction for a second-degree murder trial involving using a dangerous dog in a housing pre premise. This was actually the People vs. Noel and Noller case in 2002. In 2004, Gilfoyle was called on a host... Uh, TV program, Both Sides, on Court TV, which is now called True TV, where she doubled as a legal analyst, too. She started working for Fox News Channel from 2006, when she hosted The Lineup, which was a weekend-based TV show. Though this program was canceled subsequently, she became the co-host of the popular TV series The Five and Outnumbered. She also appeared in a few shows like Is It Legal, Red Eye with Greg Gutfeld, Kill Mean, and Friends Radio Show. In 2001, Kimberly married Gavin Newsom, who went on to become the mayor of San Francisco in 2003. She filed for divorce in January 2005, stating long-distance issues as the main cause for the strain in marriage. Divorce finally came through on February 28, 2006. On May 27, 2006, Guilfoyle married furniture heir Eric Villancy in Barbados. She has a child from this marriage, a son called Ronan Anthony, who was born on October 4, 2006. The marriage did not last, and the couple eventually divorced in 2009. Guilfoy was being considered for the job as press secretary for President Donald Trump in 2016, but she turned it down in favor for her contract for Fox. She quit Fox News in July 2018, reportedly to work for a pro-Donald Trump super PAC. In 2020, Guilfoyle became one of the most uh, prominent members of the Trump Victory Committee, who was a fundraising campaign for Donald Trump's presidential campaign. This Wikipedia states that Trump's campaign is paying Guilfoyle $180,000 per year as part of their digital campaign process. In May 2018, there was news that Guilfoyle was dating Donald Trump Jr. after the two attended an event together. On July 3, 2020, Guilfoyle tested positive for COVID-19 after attending the Trump rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Her boyfriend, Donald Trump Jr., also uh, tested, well, he actually tested negative, not positive. Kimberly Guilfoyle's net worth is estimated $20 million. While she was working for, uh, with Fox, her salary was $8 million. Guilfoyle has also written a book called Make the Case, How to Be Your Best Advocate. The book contains practical advice on how to win arguments, getting out of sticky situations, standing your case effectively, and getting what you want in life. This was actually something in a book called Making the Case, How to Be Your Own Best Advocate. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.